Alright, Shalom. We want to start off by giving our praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. Bashem. Bashem. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Bashem. Bashem. Rakal. Rakal. Kadash. Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect man pushing his truth and faith and sincerity. Alright, this is the brother Yitazaka. All right, and um, we're going to uh, start off here in 2 Maccabees, the first chapter. Uh, this is 2 Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 1. The brethren, the Jews that be at Jerusalem and in the land of Judea, which wish unto the brethren, the Jews that are throughout Egypt, health and peace. Um, Yahweh be gracious unto you. And remember his covenant that he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, his faithful servants. And give you all in heart to serve him and to do his will with a good courage and a willing mind. And open your hearts in his law and commandments and send you peace. And hear your prayers and be at one with you and never forsake you in time of trouble. And that's Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Basically, um, he brought us out of Egypt, liberated us out of the hands of our enemies. And he just, he made it pretty plain with uh, Moses. He said, yo, do what I say. Uh, uh, depend on me. Follow my laws. And I'll, I'll, like it tells in Deuteronomy 28, and I'll, one, I'll, I'll, I'll set thee above all nations, and we'll get everything, and he'll fight for us. And we won't be forsaken in a time of trouble. Yep. That's right. Uh, that was it on that, bro? Yeah, next one's uh, 24. Huh. Uh, this in the same chapter, Second Maccabees chapter uh, one, verse twenty-four. It says, "And the prayer was after this manner, O Lord, Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, Creator of all things, who art fearful and strong and righteous and merciful, and the only great, and and the only and gracious King." Kant. Verse 25, the only giver of all things, the only just, almighty, and everlasting, thou that deliverest Israel from all trouble and didst choose the fathers and sanctify them. There it is, that, that deliver Israel from all thy troubles, and that's in all by Shemi Because he's pretty much anything we want, he's going to give us. Only thing he required is our uh, our loyalty, pretty much our loyalty and our subjection. That's a small price to pay for for everything in the world. You're not going to get that deal in uh in uh Babylon. At, at, at best, you can get uh you can get a half a half deal like that. You you bow the knee to uh, Esau, he'll give you a little bit of riches. But when it comes time for him to collect, he's taking that life. That's why you see all these so-called celebrities. Uh, so-called dying, dying of drug overdose, or or the end of like Bill Cosby, or the end of like O.J. Simpson, because when you make a deal with the devil, is uh is always the bitter with the sweet. You know, you're never going to uh, it's never going to be like uh, it's never it's never going to be good for you. Put it to you that way, it ain't going to be good in the long run. He always going to come collect. Yep. Yep. I got a uh, quick precept for what you just said. This uh, so like you um, pulling up this blue letter. Proverbs uh, twenty sixteen. What is it? It might be eight oh it's lucky bro yeah probably eight 
This uh, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 18. Riches and honor are with me. Yeah, durable riches and righteousness. So riches and honor are with Yahweh Bashim Yashah. Period. Everything else, everything else is uh, is corrupt. That's why we do this, uh, we, uh, we're doing this work. To get that uh, incorruptible crown. Because what Yahweh Bashim Yashah gives you, no man can take. Okay, but what he blessed, no man can say he's not blessed. But what Esau give you is it, any anything anybody other than other man can give you is corruptible. It can be taken away. But with Yahweh Hashem Yashad, we who just read, it's everlasting. It's it's, it's everlasting. That's, and that says everything like this: everlasting. It don't stop. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it. Durable riches. I just want to get that word durable real quick, bro. Cause like you were saying, these uh, Esau, he what he offers you, it's 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 only momentary, and then it's tainted at that. You know, but the Heavenly Father, he offers you uh, immortality, man, and, you know, uh, everlasting, durable riches, you know, things that can't be tainted, you know. And that word for durable in the Hebrew is uh, a thok, and it says, handed forward, advanced, enduring, durable, valuable, eminent, surpassing, you know. <laughs> so, it's advanced past anything Esau can give you, his tainted riches, you know. It's, it's, it's more valuable than anything. It's imminent. It's, it's, it's surpassing. You know, it's in a league of its own, man. You know, it surpasses uh, any kind of, uh, you know, uh, protection or success or, uh, you know, uh, way or, or, or riches that, you know, uh, Esau can give give you by bowing the knee to him, you know. Um, you you have... Uh, you want me to go back to the apocrypha? Yeah, it's more on that until 28. Okay, con. Um, this uh, verse 26. I'm going to start back at 25. This is uh, 2 Maccabees 1 and 25. The only giver of all things, the only just, almighty, and everlasting. Thou that delivers Israel from all trouble and didst choose the fathers and sanctify them. Receive the sacrifice for thy whole people Israel and preserve thine own portion and sanctify it. And we know when you read Deuteronomy 32, I believe it's uh, uh, 8, it tells you that Israel is the highest portion. Yep. Where a lot of his inheritance. Yep. That's right. It says, verse 27. Gather those together that are scattered from us, deliver them from Salaki, deliver them that serve among the heathen, look upon them that are despised and abhorred, and let the heathen know that thou art our power, Yahweh Shimia Now it's going now when you when you look into that, that's going into um um Deuteronomy chapter thirty two, verse eight. Making the elect a praise in in uh in in uh in in, uh, in, uh, in the world because this is where they were. Matter of fact, bro, you know where that you know where that's at, right? The Daniel's, right? Uh, which which how, how I go again? It's lucky. It make us famous. Uh, uh, yeah, fame. Uh, I think that's Zephaniah. It's lucky. Oh yeah, Zephaniah. Was that one? Um, I think it's two, Thanks. but let me just be for sure. Uh, I know it's in Zephaniah, you know. So yeah, Zephaniah three, Selakia. I got you, bro. Three nineteen. Yeah, con, con. This uh Zephaniah chapter three verse nineteen. Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out, mm, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where the where they have been put to shame. It's the same exact thing in twenty seven. Gather gather together that are gather them together that are scattered from us, deliver them that serve among the heathen. Look upon them that are despised and abhorred, and let the heathen know that thou art our power. Because they, they actually believe that that ties into uh wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter too. Yep. Where uh where the heathen and everybody else are gonna be like these how can these be the men that are numbered among the saints? Because they think our work is going to be without honor. It's going to be without, uh, 
it's going to be in vain. Our labors are going to be in vain. We out here wasting our time. We could be out in the club, they say. We could be out smashing chicks. We could be out uh, doing anything. Y'all say, they say we're wasting our time doing that work. Yep. Yep. That's right, bro. Um, jump back to that, uh, uh, second Maccabees. This second Maccabees chart, the one verse, uh, 28, it says, Punish them that oppress us and with pride do us wrong. And that's every nation, including the two thirds. Because everybody, including the two thirds, they oppress us. And and with their and Esau with his pride and these other nations and their pride, they they do us wrong. They look down upon us. They 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 talk trash behind our back. They try to get us fired from our jobs. They try to take our kids from us. All these all these different things that uh, Satan got spells on these people that are turning everybody against uh, the men and the men and the women that are trying to fight in righteousness. Yep, it's a lot here, bro. It's a lot here, brothers. It's a lot here about that. Um, this is Rock chapter 25, verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. In the tenth, I will utter with my tongue a man that have joy over his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. So that's, and, this, and that's one of the things that we, we were going to look forward to, the fall of our enemies. Now you read Psalms 58 and 10, it tells you that the saints are going to rejoice when you see the, uh, the vengeance. And that's what the true men of the Lord are waiting for. We're waiting for their vengeance. And it says it right here in Sirach, that that's it's, it's a joy. Yahweh, Yahweh, our Shemi Yahshai, you can see it as a joy to see the fall of uh, enemies. Okay, he takes pleasure in taking down his enemies. Especially because you read Zephaniah, I believe it's 1 and 8, or 2 and 8. It tells you that uh, Israel is the apple of his eye. And yeah, anybody who does anything to us has done it unto him. And they got to pay for that. Yep. Yep. I got a quick pre sale. This uh first Samuel two and ten. This first Samuel chapter two verse ten. Well, let me start at 9. This first Samuel chapter 2, verse 9. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. The, hey, bro. Come, I'm going to read verse 10. It says, The adversaries of the Lord, Yahweh Shemesh, shall be broken to pieces out of heaven, shall he thunder upon them. The Lord, Yahweh Shemesh, shall judge the ends of the earth. And he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. You know, and uh, pretty much, man, the feet of the saints is the Israelites, man. All right. Primarily right now on this side, speaking of the elect, you know, and they say the wicked, wicked shall be silent in darkness, in, in darkness. All right. And the wickedness is all these heathen, man. All right. Starting from the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, man. You know, and it says by strength shall no man prevail because... Uh, ultimately, if your Habba Shem Al Shai is fighting for you, can't nobody come up against your Habba Shem Al Shai and defeat him, man. All right, look at Esau Edom right now, man. He's gonna try to actually fight against our Lord Yahweh Shai and the host of heaven, man. Are right, you gonna try to actually fight against the Most High, man? All right, the Most High's armies with his army. All right, and we know he's not gonna prevail in that, you know. And it said the adversaries of the Lord Yahweh Shem Al Shai should be broken to pieces. Speaking of the enemies that the brother was going into, man. All right. Which are all these uh, heathen nations and, and also two-thirds of our own people, like the brother was speaking of, that oppress us, man. You know, anyone who takes part in the, in the oppression against uh, the nation of Israel, which is the apple of their eye, like the Ark was saying, 
uh, the apple of the heavenly father's eye, like the ark was saying, they're going to be broken to pieces, man. You know, and it says, out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. The Lord, Yahabashim Yashah, shall judge the ends of the earth. Why? Because you got our people scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, man. All right. C contrary to the popular belief, which these dumbass people don't understand. All right. Ain't no damn spiritual uh, Israelites out here, man. All right. You have Israelites scattered throughout all these heathen nations, man, throughout the four corners of the earth, man. All right. So what's going to happen? Yahabashim Yashah going to judge these nations. For uh, holding captive and oppressing his people and all through, through all throughout these nations throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, and they say he's gonna give strength unto his king. Who is the king? The king of all kings, our Lord Yahweh Shad, man. Are he gonna give him strength? He's gonna be, his 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 world is the kingdom to come, man. All right, Esau 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 don't have no uh, strength, you know. He, he his his kingdom is not gonna go forth, you know. And they say he's gonna exalt the horn of his anointed and, and who, who's the uh, the anointed man. All right, those who are followers of Yahweh Shai, which uh, uh, the, who is the Messiah, the anointed one, man. All right, the followers of Yahweh Shai, they're anointed, which that's the elect, man. All right, he going to exalt the horn of his anointing. He ain't going to exalt the horn of, of, of no one who think they're going to prevail by their own strength or by their own means, which are all these heathens, all right, who don't have no God. Well, they have gods, but none of those gods exist. You know, nothing but wood and stone, you know. He's not going to exalt them. He gonna He's going to exalt the uh his anointed which are his people man you know who have the true power who have the true one and only god like it was speaking about in second maccabees the first chapter it was saying it was it's only him you know you had something else bro you there up select your brothers Salaki, so brothers. Salaki so about that, you know. Um, where do you want me to go from here, bro? Uh, second address, fifteen forty-seven. Second address, fifteen forty-seven. Salaki. So oh man. Off on the road. Trying to close this shit up. All right. Second Ezra. Fifteen and forty-seven. This second Ezra chapter fifteen verse forty-seven. Woe be unto thee, thou rich, rich, because thou hast made thyself like unto her, and hast decked thy daughters in whoredom, that thou may might plead that they might please and glory in thy lovers which who have also desired to commit whoredom with thee yeah that's and you got our people who are who are doing this they uh they forsaken you how about they decided you know what i don't want his protection i want the protection of the heathen and that that our people also did the same thing when you look back at uh during the times of, uh, of the, uh, the Maccabees, we had our people clinging on to the heathen because they didn't see the benefit and following Yahweh Shemiah anymore. And you got our people, they doing the same exact thing today. They don't see the benefit in Yahweh Shemiah They, they want to reap the benefit like right now. They want their, their, they want the win right now. They want their kingdom right now. But destruction is coming unto these people, as it says. Yeah, how, how that scripture go to say the uh, just roughly paraphrasing, say the nation and people who will not serve me shall utterly perish. I don't think I heard that one. Yeah, it's like it, but it's it's uh, I can't think of it right now, but it's somewhere on the lines like the the the, the nation, um, and so like let me see if I can get it real quick. So like your brothers, I'm gonna try to, yeah. Let me grab. I'm gonna jump back to that second Ezra. Let me just grab this real quick for the brother. This uh, just to back up his point. This uh, Isaiah chapter sixty, verse twelve. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yeah, those nations shall be utterly wasted. You got it, bro. Yeah. So it say for the for the nation and kingdom that will not serve. The nation of uh, Israel shall perish, man. They're going to be utterly wasted. 
All right, why? Because you have Hashem Yasha, he established the testimony in the law in Jacob, man. All right. He's, it, 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 well, like the art was bringing out about uh, Deuteronomy, uh, the 28th chapter, man. When it speak about the blessings, it, it tell you within the blessings, we was going to be over these heathens, man. All right. They was going to be in subjection and servitude to us, man. All right. You know, the, the world was made for Israel's sake, man. All right. World without end, you know. And, and any uh, uh, cosmo outside the cosmos of the nation of Israel that don't want to uh, come to the obedience of, uh, of, of Israel's cosmo, then guess what? You know, they, they're going to be utterly wasted and they're going to perish, man. They're going to be destroyed, man. All right. Let me uh read to... uh. I'm going to jump to 14. This is verse 14. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushai, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Yeah, bro. Yeah, so it's a, uh, the, the sons of them that afflicted us. They're going to come bending the knee, man. They're going to bow themselves, man. All right. And what they're going to call is the city of the Lord. Yeah, how about you shot? Because Jerusalem was a, a people before it was a place, man. All right. And it tell you in Galatians, the fourth chapter, that Jerusalem is the mother of us all, man. All right. So we are the city of the Lord. You know, the, the nation of Israel, the, the, the Zion, the monument, the memorial of the Holy One of Israel, man. That's the nation of Israel, man. All right. The only God. All right. Seeing, seeing that I am I. And there's no God with me, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. All right, ain't no other guy. Ain't no round table council. All right, with Zeus and Thanos, you know, sitting at a damn round table. Yeah, how about Shimei al the only God, man? And his people are are, 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 are the only ones he's dealing with, man. You know? Well, Jake, Jake made up all them guys anyway. Right. All them guys, those, uh, the, the, Greek, the Greek guys, because when you look, uh, look at look at the uh, the so called modern day gods. You got uh, Superman, Green Lantern, uh, and, and any of them you can name. None of them got beards on their face, not one. But then when you look at the uh, the Greek gods, every single one of them got beards. Why is that? Right. Because Jake know beards and power, they go hand in hand. So Jake, if he gonna make a god, a man god, obviously he gonna have a beard on his face. Right. Only Esau gets down with that uh, clean, clean shaven, so called clean shaven and stuff. Kind. Kind, bro. Yep. That's right. You know. And they go back to the uh, 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 Constantine and the uh, Council of Nicaea, man. You know. All those uh, wicked ass Jakes, you know, around uh, the, the time period of uh, 320, th the 300s AD, I believe, you know, when they came together. You know, with the uh, council and made up Greek mythology, man. You know? Yeah, mix that with, uh, with their uh, doctrines. Right. And it made me think, too, when you said that, it made me think. They go back to the, the time in, wilder in the wilderness where uh, Moses, he had went up to Mount Sinai to receive uh, the law from uh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the Most High. And, you know, uh, Israel was just like, yeah, Moses is gone. We don't have no God to serve. Make us uh and any uh uh want Aaron to make them a golden calf to worship, man. You know. Uh, you had uh some else you want me to go to, bro? Uh, take Andrew fifteen and. All right, jumping down to 51, it says, Thou shalt be weakened as a poor woman with stripes, and as one chastised with wounds, so that the mighty and lovers shall not be able to receive thee. You keep going. Time. Verse 52, Would I with jealousy have so proceeded against thee, said the Lord, Yahabashim al if Thou hadst not always slain my chosen, exalted the stroke of thine hands, and sang over the dead when thou was drunken, set forth 
the beauty of thy countenance. The reward of thy whoredom shall be in thy bosom, therefore shalt thou receive recompense. Like as thou hast done unto my chosen, said the Lord Yahabashim Yahshai, even so shall Yahabashim Yahshai do unto thee, and shall deliver thee into mischief. Thy, thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy city shall be broken down, and all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. That, oh, so like it. Yeah, because you got you got all the heathen and you got all the jakes. They they are uh, spiritually and physically right now teaming up. I have always teamed up against uh, Israel in some way, shape, or form. And even today, they're doing the same thing. They and they uh and they exalt themselves in doing it. They're happy about it. They think they're doing uh, God a favor. Well, yeah, because God is not about hate. He's about love. He's not about division. He's about unity. They, they really believe that they're doing justice. I, I did a video yesterday where you actually got a heathen coming up talking about some uh, Trump is a God-fearing man and God bless America and um, we got to pray for Trump in America so he can uh, win an election again. I'm like, what is going on here? You see Jake's in the crowd. They all going with it. They are just as blind as you can be. Anybody with a brain knows Trump is not. He has nothing to do with God. Well, uh, not a single thing. Well, uh, on Donald, the right hand side. Right, right, right. Well, Donald Trump uh, pretty much made a statement and said that he is uh, the second coming of the Messiah. Man, you know that's why they building the third temple, that 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 physical third temple in uh, Jerusalem now, man. You know. They actually think that's biblical prophecy. Hold on one second, bro. Salakia, man. Yeah. Salakia, brothers. Once again, you know, spiritual demon Satan, of course. You know, got to try to intrude. But, hey, you know, some heavy edification coming out. You know what I'm saying? Um. Uh, what you, you, want, you got somewhere you want me to go from here, bro? You can wrap it on 1622. 23. Oh, you got more. Uh... I do. I got some I want to end it off on too, and I got like two more, so I get to us. You said you want you want me to end off with you with the twenty six 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 second Ezra sixteen twenty two. Six uh second sixteen twenty two and twenty three. Come on, told, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just get to us first, and uh, this uh second Ezra. Well, I gotta finish off on those. <laughs> Uh, Cause those are like finishers right there, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, God. let me get this. One. Yeah, <laughs> good. Hold on, real quick. Let's go here. <laughs> good. This uh, second. I mean, it's like your First Kings, uh, chapter two, verse two. It say, "I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man." And this King David speaking before he died to his son, King Solomon. Verse 3, it says, And keep the charge of the Lord thy power, Yahweh, to walk in his ways, to keep his commandments, and I mean, so like it, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest, and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. Yeah, so pretty much, you know, that's that's what makes you a man. All right. And what 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 man? All right, Isaiah thirteen, uh the thirteenth chapter tell you I will make a man more precious than fine gold. This this a man of Israel, because a man of Israel is the only ones that can keep the ways, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Al the judgments and his testimonies. Why? Because it was established in Israel, man. All right, in Jacob. Psalm seventy eight and five, man. All right, the nation of Israel are the only ones who can follow the ways of Yahabashim Al Shah, you know, the judgments and the commandments, the statues, man, you know, and that, and that and that's uh we we are those men. We we're the only ones who can be men. All right, like it was uh me and the brother did a, a lesson last night. You know, we brought out uh Genesis one. You know about how pretty much all these other nations are are, are beasts. All right, and they're not men. Why? Because they don't have the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahabashim Al Shah, man. You know, 
So the nation of Israel are the only ones who can be men. You know why? Because um, they they can keep the law, statute, commandments. You have Hashem Yahushua. You know, and what they say, we're gonna prosper in everything we do when we do that. Why? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is gonna be with us, man. And who's gonna come up against Yahweh Bashim Yahshua? Who's gonna rise up against Yahweh Bashim Yahshua in the judgment, man? Let me see if I can get there real quick, too, bro. Uh, judgment. Let me just type it in. If I could find it, Lord willing. Uh, I might not be able to find it, bro. I ain't gonna spend too much time on it. Let me see. Salaki, bro. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but what are you for? it's a uh, you know, pretty much like somebody trying to rise up. I can't remember exactly how it go, but it's like rising up against you. How about seeing y'all shine judgment? You know. Uh, I don't think I heard that. Yeah. Uh, Salaki, Lord, Salaki, brothers. You know, I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. You know. So lucky about that, brothers. But you know, just to uh, uh, quote it, you know, just worth uh, quote it. Pretty much, it, it speaks about those trying to uh, rise up in judgment against Jehovah by Shimei All right, and like no, nobody's gonna do it. I was thinking that was it, but I'm not for sure, bro. I don't think that's it. Um, oh, eleven thirty-one. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's it. <laughs> Salaki, bro. My fault. Salak. Um, I don't think that's quite what I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. I can't think of it right now. Um, but yeah, let me. Uh, you know, but pretty much, you know, if you how about see me outside? Well, let's get that. Hold <laughs> on, I got another one. Salaki. Uh, Romans eight. Romans 8 and what it is, 31. This Romans chapter 8, verse 31. What shall we say? What what shall we then say to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who can be against us? Yeah, because you got chicks like, well, if I do this, if I come to camp and I might, somebody might see me, I might lose my job or. Or, or if I if I continue to keep the laws, my mom might kick me out. Or yo, hold on. So first off, one, you think uh, nobody can come up against you if you're doing if you're not supposed to do righteousness. That's one. Two, you trying to save your life? Is that what you're trying to do out here? We ride out for y'all about Shimei and we let him handle whatever whatever comes with that. Period. Wisdom, obviously. Right. Right. Yep. Let me uh get this too real quick, bro. And I got one more after this. Uh first Kings chapter eight and uh verse thirty-three. This first Kings chapter eight, verse thirty-three. When thy people Israel be smitten down before the enemy. Because they have sinned against thee and shall turn again to thee and confess thy name and pray and make supplication unto thee in this house. Then hear thou in heaven forgive the sin of thy people Israel and bring them again unto the land which thou gave us unto their fathers. When heaven is... It's like, I'm going to read down a little bit more. It says... When hand was like when heaven 
is shut up and there be and there is no rain because they have sinned against thee. If they pray toward this place and confess thy name and turn from their sin when thou afflictest them, then hear thou in heaven and forgive the sin of thy servants and of thy people Israel that thou teach them the good way wherein they should walk and give rain upon the land which they have given to thy people for an inheritance, you know. And if you read that in this chapter, it pretty much speak about how uh, if you make supplication to the Lord, you know, in prayer unto the Lord and pray towards the east, you know, if the whole nation was to face the east and pray towards the east and make supplications toward you, how about she outside? He would deliver us from them that are, that's afflicting us. All right, but like what the ot was going into in uh, Second Ezra, the 15th chapter about, you know, how our people pretty much have put on the whoredoms, man, and they like it, you know. What well, like that scripture that say, I, my people love to have it so. I think that's Jeremiah 5, you know. They love to have it so. They love to have it this way, man. Our, our people love to, you know, be be filthy, man. Be harlots, man. Or indulge in wickedness, man. All right, and that's why the Heavenly Father is not delivering us from the affliction, man. All right, because our people are okay with this, uh, the affliction. All right, they trust in oppression, man, you know. And but the heavenly father said, when you are afflicted, if you, if you make your prayer and your supplication to him and walk in a good way, all right, he, he, he'll he deliver you, man, from the hand of the enemy, you know. So, you know, it's nothing for you. How about you, shout out to uh, deliver us from, you know, this place, man. And these heathens, they, they set up a world fully based off witchcraft and enchantments and sorcery and, you know, uh, you know, complete. Um, idol tree to keep the nation of Israel sinning against Yahabashim outside so he won't be with us, man. You know, that's that crafty council, you know. I got one more, bro. This, uh, the book of Judith, chapter 5, verse 17. It says, and whilst they sin not before their power, they prosper. So when, when we don't sin before our power, we, we, we don't transgress the law, statutes, commandments, and judgments of Yahweh Shem Shah, we prosper, man. And they tell you that all throughout the scriptures, man. All right, that's the way how we prosper. How how we prosper? Because we're going to prosper over all these heathen. We're going to prosper over anyone who tries to rise up against us, man, or who tries to rise up against our power. Why? Because we have... The only living power with us. That's our power, man. All right. It says, and which they sin not before their power, they prospered because the power that hate of iniquity was with them. And that's how about Shem Al He hate of all iniquity, man. All right. He hate of all iniquity. Well, what's 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 the example of iniquity? These heathens, man. These heathens can't do nothing but put sin on top of sin, man. You know. Why? Because they don't have the law. What is what what is sin? Sin is transgression of the law. All right. They they can't even follow the law. So obviously the Heavenly Father would hate these nations. All right. Obviously. It says, verse 18. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, what was what's the way that he appointed us? The law of Moses. It says. They were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and we—that's what's going on right now. We destroyed in in in, um, in many battles, very sore, man. Our right, Esau destroying us every day, man. All right, me and the brother was talking, you know what I'm saying, the other day about pretty much how this nigga put pork in all type in everything, pretty much in everything. What the hell you gonna do? Not eat and just starve to death? It says. And we don't even know we transgressing. You're right. Kind, bro. That's right. That's right. Uh, you know, that's so that, that proves that we're under grace, man. Right, that's why you're supposed to make your prayer and your supplication to the Heavenly Father, man, and stay humble and, 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 and you know, cry out to Him, which beg means to, um, I mean, pray means to beg, cry out, man, you know, to the Heavenly Father. So that's, that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be constantly praying, making supplications. To the Heavenly Father and making our body a living sacrifice so he can deliver us from the hand of the enemy. 
all right, because we, we can't even, like I said, we can't follow the law perfectly, all right, so that's not going to deliver us, you know, it says, and we atone daily, oh yeah, daily thing, right, well, it tell you Psalms, what Psalms, the 34th chapter, the most high is nigh unto them who are of a contrite spirit and a broken heart, man, all right, and contrary, you go into that word contrary, one of the synonyms for it is uh, repentive, man. You know, M make an atonement, you know. Come. It says. Which we do every day. Come. The, the most high is. On a damn day of atonement. Well, let's go here real quick, bro, since you said that. Because <laughs> you got know, fuck boys out here talking about they can atone on a day of atonement. Let's get this real quick. This uh, Isaiah chapter 57, verse 15. For thus said the high and lofty one, the inhabitant, that inhabitant eternity, whew, whose name is holy, I dwell in the high and holy place with him also. Hold on, hold on. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Let's get this word contrite. The word contrite is the ka. Oh, it said crushed. All right, it says crushed, literally powder, contrite, de destruction. All right, arising in the part for this is natural race. It, it will destroy you with a sore destruction. What we just read in Judah the fifth chapter about how this place is uh you got you get defeated in many battles, very sore, man. You know, see being here, you know we we're beating the fuck down, man. We beating down, bro. You know, we're beating down yeah, very I'm sore. You say what? Well, uh, I said eating pork unknowingly is a losing battle. That's what that's what that's the point I was making. Gone, bro. You know? Gone. That's 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 losing a battle. You know? That's losing that's that's sore that's a sore loss, man. You know? You went out bad, man. You know? So of course you're gonna be contrite re repeatedly, like you can't even you can't even try to serve your how about Shimei was shot, man. You can't. I mean, you. I mean, Salaki, you could try to serve your how about Shimei was shot, but you can't do it fully. You can't even fully serve your how about Shimei was shot like you would want to. You know, only thing you can do is try. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's it. You know, it's it's just like you know you can't you can't fully you can't even fully give everything to your how about Shimei was shot. That hurts, man. So you constantly in the state of being crushed, man. You constantly in the state of being brokenhearted, man. You constantly in the state of, of, of atonement, man. All right, why? Because you constantly uh, are being defeated and constantly, you know, what a part, like a part, of, like the ox said, a part of being defeated is not being able to serve you. How about Shim Yashai completely, even if it's unknowingly, you know, that that makes you, that, that that'll fuck your psyche up, man, you know. But what it say, the most high dwells with them who are of who are contrite, man. Who are constantly atoning, like the brother was saying, man. You know. And there was more on that definition, but I'm not gonna go more into it, you know. You can you can look it up for yourself. Just go on Google and type in contrite and look at the synonym. Hey, Google that shit. Alright, this uh Judah chapter five, verse eighteen. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles very sore and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. Who, who the hell is this talking about, man? And the temple of their power was cast to the ground. Psalms 137, when it tell you about, remember Edom, uh, uh, who, who said, raise it, raise it to the foundation thereof, man. All right, tell you about that in the book of First Maccabees when they was destroying all the temples of, of, of Israel, man. Of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, all the altars, man. Shit, King Nebuchadnezzar did that, man. 
and their cities were taken by in by the enemies. Whew, come on, bro. And that's what's going on right now. But now are they returned to their power and are come up from the places where they were scattered and have possessed Jerusalem where their sanctuary is and are seated in the hill country for it was desolate. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there if there be any error against this people and they sin against their power. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin and let us go up and we shall overcome them. You know, so these heathens, they already know that they got to get us off our square with you. How about you now? So that's the only way they can continue to rule over. Us. That's the only way they can have any kind of uh, prosperity, you know, because because we're going to get it all. We're going to get all the prosperity. The only way these nations can get any kind of prosperity if they keep us afflicted, you know. This and these heathens know that. That's why they constantly keep you going off against your power, man. Just like the art was talking about this dumbass Elamite, all right. You know who was talking about Donald Trump, which I know who you're talking about because my brother he just sent me a text of the of, of this dumbass Elamite who did a video, and the name of the video was "Did God Create Us, Man?" You know that. What what the fuck? What 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 do a heathen know about God, bro? All right, a heathen don't. What the hell do a heathen? A heathen don't have no relationship with you. How about she outside? But you got heathens out here teaching our people who who are uh, who are uh, who have become unnatural Gentiles. You know how to think and how to move, man. And that's an example of them keeping us sinning against our power and keeping error within us, so we cannot. So we can constantly be in ruins, man. You know, and they can overcome us. Yeah. Now I get that in Second Ezra sixteen and twenty two. You said twenty two and twenty three, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, this Second Ezra chapter sixteen, verse twenty two. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. And the other that escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. And the dead shall be cast out as dung. And there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted. And the city shall be cut, cast down. Yeah. And that's that's all you uh, that's all you heathens, man. Including two-thirds, man, who, who have become heathens. Or who have completely uh, given in to the way. Of the heathen, man. Are you 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 become on one accord with the heathen, man? Are you okay with uh, the witchcraft and the enchantments that they uh, use against you, man? Because it tell you in the scriptures there is no enchantment against Jacob, man. All right, but but Jacob has completely been enchanted. Uh, out, well, because truly Jacob right now is is uh is the elect. Like I tell you in Romans nine, all of Israel is not of Israel, man. All right. So the let they can't be affected by these enchantments, man. Are right, they not gonna let no no heathen uh keep them uh in ruin and overcome them? Why? Because they tapping in with their power source. Yeah, how about Shimao Sha? When you tap in with your power source, yeah, how about Shimao Sha? Nothing can come up against you to, to overcome you, man. All right, but that's why two thirds of our people, including the heathen, who 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 devised these plots. And these devices against Israel are going to be overcome by famine, perish, hunger, and the sword, man. You know, and ain't, no, ain't going to be nobody to comfort them. Why? Because the comforter is our Lord, Yahweh Shah, who sent through this word. He wasn't sent to everybody, man. You know, the the, the comforter is 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 the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahshua, by Shem Rukh man. You know, that's the comforter. All right. So if, if you don't have that, you're not going to be comforted. You're just going to be overcome by famine, the sword. And destruction, man, pretty much, you know, and, and you're gonna be cast out as dung as shit as the shit you are, all right, because dung ain't nothing but boo boo, man, you know, because these nations and all you and you two third niggas, y'all know nothing but boo boo, all right, but that's it, bro. You had something more, bro? All right, well, with that, we want to give our praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. By Shem. By Shem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. By Shem. By Shem. We'll call.
Kedash. Kedash. Double honors to the apostle and elders, great millstone, rule well and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to the house of David. Shalom to the elect.